Hi, and welcome to the video instructions for editing your proof in Adobe Reader version 10. First of all, congratulations on getting a proof. This is a major milestone and we are excited for you. In this video, you'll learn how to do the following things. Um, it may seem intimidating right now, but they are very straightforward and we'll go through them one step at a time. However, if you would like to skip any of the steps, if you click on them right now on the screen, it will go straight to that step. Now the first thing you need to do is open the file we sent you. It is a PDF file, and if you open it in the Adobe Reader program, it should look something like this. Now, in order to do edits, we need to first open the comments sidebar. Uh, to do so, uh, if you go to the top right-hand corner, you'll see something that says comments right beside tools and share, uh, where the mouse is right now. If you click on it, you'll open the comments sidebar. And this is what we'll be using to do your edits. Now let's talk about editing text. So this is if you're trying to edit the actual text and the content of it. So not things like the margins or the spacing or the pictures. So let's first learn how to replace text. So this is what you use when you want to replace existing text with new text. Now in my example, let's say I want to change prologue. Um, I want to change it to say introduction instead. Now, how would I do that? I would go to the replacement tool, which is where my mouse is right now, click on it, and then go to the section I want to change and highlight it. And when you do, there will be a blue box that appears like you see on the screen right now, and you can start typing whatever you want it to uh, be replaced with. In my case, I'm writing introduction. To go over it again, replacing text, you first click on the replace tool, and then you highlight the area you want to replace, and then number three, you start typing. Uh, you just type whatever you want to replace it with. Uh, moving on to deleting text, you only want to use this when you want to delete text without replacing it. Now, going back to the same example, we can take a look and let's say I want to erase an entire paragraph. I don't like it for some reason. Uh, so what I would do is highlight it like I just did, and then you press delete. And when you press the delete button, uh, you should see a red strike through throughout the whole paragraph. And that's how you know you've done it correctly. Uh, to review, to delete text, you first highlight the section of the text you want to delete, and then you press the delete button and you should see a red strike through and you know you've done it right. Uh, moving on to adding new text. You only want to use this when you're adding text without replacing existing text. So this is if you're adding something when there was nothing there before and well I'll show you in my example. In my example I want to just add something at the end of this last paragraph. So there, I'm not deleting anything as you can see. So what do I do? I go to the end there you can see the cursor. And then I press insert tool. And when I do, it will open up a blue box. And in that blue box, I can add whatever new text I would like to add. So adding new text, you first click on the place where you want the new text to begin. And then you click on the insert tool. And when you do, you'll see a blue box and you can type in your new text in that blue box. Now let's move on to editing formatting. Now, what do I mean by this? This includes things such as pictures, if you wanna change the uh, margins, if you wanna change the font size maybe, but do not use for editing text. If you want to change the content of your text, then use the tools that I've shown you so far. Now to do formatting edits, we use sticky notes. In this example, uh, if you look at the first two lines, they are double spaced and I don't want that because the rest aren't double spaced. So what I'm going to do is basically leave a note to the designer and to do that, I use sticky notes. Um, so where the mouse is right now, that is the sticky note function. If you click on that and then we click on the margins and when we do, 
there's a yellow box that appears. And using that box, I just type in a message. So in my case, I just leave a message that says, please single space. Now, one thing to note is that if you have a change that repeats throughout the book, then you only use one sticky note. So let's say in my example, I want to change the font size or the font type of the chapter headings. So where it says a good start, I want it to look a little different. So I just use the sticky note again, but just say, please change the font size uh, for chapter headings. Um, but by saying all chapter headings, I only have to do it once. Now let's move on to some general tips. Uh, the first tip is to use only one text editing tool per change. So let's say I want to replace text. I should just use the replace text tool instead of deleting the text and then inserting text. Um, another thing to note is that if you change your mind about something, uh, it's very easy to change it. Um, so in this example, let's say I don't want to delete that paragraph anymore. All I do is click on that area and then press delete. And then it gets rid of that change I made. Same thing with here. If I want to not do that anymore or something, uh, I just have to click on it and then delete it. Now, let's say I want to keep most of it, but just want to edit the text I've inserted. Um, so in this case, I go to that little blue arrow, if you will, and then the blue box that where I wrote the new text uh, will come up again and you can change it uh, to anything you'd like. This way you can edit your edits. The final step is saving the file. Uh, this is very easy and it's very similar to any other program. If you just go to the diskette button at the left hand corner there and press it, it will let you save it. And just press save again and you may see a overwrite warning. Just say yes and you've saved your changes. Again, congratulations on getting a proof. This is a big milestone and we are proud of your achievement and happy for you. Now, if you still find yourself confused, then don't worry. You can either call us or email us or even watch this video again. And to make that easier, I've made it so that you can click on the video right now and it will skip to the section that you click on. Thanks for watching this video and we look forward to seeing your final book.